that's Michael Manus. I'm trying to shade it a little bit because the sun's right overhead and it's putting out growth and I uh, should have cut it back before it put out growth. Well, we got to do something with this and uh, there's some fairly large dead branches in here. Uh, this is usually slower to swell but that looks dead to me. Uh, the smaller ones, they might be swelling. You can tell that one's dead, how black it is. And as we look up in this tree, see this whole branch is dead. That whole branch is dead. In fact, we probably have to take it off at the base. And we can leave that. And that may be alive. That shoot coming out the bottom and right there might be alive and these might be alive. You can tell that branch is dead because the bark's falling off of it. And we know that back branch uh, was in bad shape. And uh, it's sort of blocking that window, interfering with the antenna. So it's debatable, we may cut that off. What we're hoping for is to let all these come up and it be a giant bush. The rabbits worked on some of these, but uh, the older bark, they couldn't work on it. And uh, since this is dead, that whole branch is gonna have to come out of here. And this will be a branch for leaves. And that back branch will be cut off from the top. Anyway, we'll come back to it in a bit. Well, this is what we got off this fig tree. You can look at it until most of it is way dead. Hopefully not diseased. Hopefully it's just dead dead. That's my bride's been helping hold the branches, some of the bigger ones. Uh, eventually, we're hoping to get a bunch of shoots come up from the ground and develop bushes. And we'd like to take the ones out against the house completely away from the house. Because I had a pipe dream of building an air solar collector across this uh, end of the building. And you could get uh, free heat during the winter time. A lot of little water shots, shoots that aren't going to do much. And we might get a few off of these others. But we're leaving some of this stuff on. We could have cut it back, made it have side shoots. But we need to get some leaves on this thing just to keep it alive. Well, our camellia is not doing too well. This should be in bloom. And the nicest, easiest thing you can do if you got a pair of nice sharp pruners. And I've been pruning with these a while. So they might not be too sharp. You know that fell off so that it's dead. See, that's dead. Yeah, it's just dead. I cut one a minute ago if I could find it. Here it is. See, I cut that DOA. We had that super cold weather that it made it through the winter, but it, uh, a couple of weeks ago it still got down really cold. And there are a few that made it. See that little green tent on it? But all these that are dark like that, there's nothing to them. Trying to tear one open and it's just, they're dead. Of course, anything that looks that bad is dead. So we won't get any flowers this year. 